Okay, very uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Vikram Sareen, Chief Architect with uh, Mula Technologies. Uh, today we are actually going to go through a quick demonstration of uh, Service Guard, uh, where we are going to look at uh, resources, which are different forms of resources, and then uh, what are the transformed, enriched, and protected or secured access points. Uh, and then after that, we will also look at the uh, authentication in, with regards to the token and certificate. And then we'll go into the sandbox testing model uh, or dashboard, which is provided inside the partner portal. And this essentially is uh, eliminating any, you know, uh, unneeded steps or effort which the partner has to take for testing the APIs that are exposed to them. And then we'll also look at real-time debugging. So this is a new feature which we have introduced where uh, you as the administrator operator you can actually check what data is being coming and what data is going uh, out of service card uh, from the respective partner and then we will get into the uh, the ISO 8583 uh, which is the basically the resource and then what is the visitor land vital which is being exposed and then we'll also show you in this whole uh, demonstration that how uh, we are basically uh, doing the debugging as well as what data is being received at the ISO server or ISO 8583 compatible server. Uh, so just to quickly uh, give you a few pointers on uh, what are the different types of features which we have. Uh, so one of the key things which we want to highlight to you is the resources as well as access point. Uh, now as you would see that uh, we have uh, traffic which is going to go out meaning that you want to expose certain APIs of yours, uh, which could be ISO F I three or SOAP or RESTful, uh, going outwards. That means you want to protect these APIs, transform these APIs, and expose them to your partners or to other applications. And the other scenario will be where you have the outside partners or outside agencies or government agencies or businesses where you want to bring those uh, services into your internal applications. Uh, so in both the contexts, Service Guard helps you in outgoing as well as incoming. Uh, APIs or services that are exposed and provided. Uh, then further going down what we want to share with you is the most important three parts of uh, service guard. Uh, the first being transform uh, or transformation and visibility control where the original uh, service or socket you know or ISO 8583 or database is actually uh, imported and then it is transformed and secured and exposed outside. Uh, so what is actually inside will never be given to the outside so you can change uh, with regards to the API name also the parameters and then uh, also publish multiple resources as single uh, access point. So uh, this is a very good example where we are taking add the name site sum so this could be anything and then you can also change the parameters or hide away the parameters. So as you could see that the API names have changed as well as one of the parameters that is uh, integer z is also hidden away and then in addition this particular part where we can actually do much more that means uh, something very similar to application firewall where we can control how much traffic is coming in what is the TPS that we need to give and also associate the billing uh, and we can also associate which group and when they can access it that means when a weekday or weekends on the other side is uh, enrichment uh, now this is a complete control where uh, you can actually add new APIs or add more business logic as you would need it. So let's say if you want to mask some data or if you want to do sanity checks or if you want to encrypt data or if you want to hide away certain you know parameters which are going out. Uh, so all these activities you can actually manage with enrichment. So sometimes uh, in businesses or uh, you know internal legacy systems might not be able to expose you uh, the needed uh, you know business logic. So whatever additional business logic you wish to add you can actually add it in uh, service guard and then expose it out into the uh, to the partners or to the other application. So you can actually have that. So again, another simple example is that uh, you want to enrich the API. Uh, so you can actually add new parameters so over here. Integer S and my type Z is uh, is uh, coming in. And then uh, you know it, these two uh, data types are actually handled at service card and uh, the original uh, legacy web service or the service doesn't change at all. Uh, so another example is that where you want to add new API. So let's say your internal API was sum and uh, you wanted to 
you know uh, enrich it but in addition you also wanted to have login as well as log out as two apis that you wanted to add in uh, so you can add these two apis and these two apis will be actually handled at service guard level now going further down uh, there are a lot of security which we have from ip restriction ssl tps tpd throttling uh, date and time restriction you know all these kind of things are coming in from service guard and then also there are certain new features as we shared with you that real time debugging and then also ws security uh, you know json xml data security encryption all this is being coming in so if you're looking at some of the products which were uh, you know which are there uh, like oracle service Verse or tipco uh, they expect you to have a web logic or web sphere uh, but with uh, service guard uh, you know you don't need these kind of heavy or expensive servers you can actually deploy on something like tomcat or tommy tommy which is tomcat and press edition and you can also have ws security as an inbuilt feature uh, not as a separate feature so we have actually done ws security addition uh, dynamically uh, into the system and uh, you can enjoy it uh, as an inbuilt feature uh, so there are a few other things like billing uh, which is also provided you can also host your applications inside service guard uh, secure container and you can also uh, you know look at uh, you know the partner portal which is essentially giving you all the other major features okay said that uh, let me quickly get started with uh, the demonstration itself uh, so uh, what i have now here is that uh, i'm inside so i just want to quickly show you uh, that this is a uh, the list of partners uh, so right now we only have one partner but over here i can actually look at their uh, certificate as well as key so from here you can upload and download you know the certificate that will be used for mutual authentication and encryption decryption or ws security and we can also have the vadal level of security which is basically coming from here so again over here what we like to highlight is that you have two different sets of credentials so one is test and one is uh, production uh, so if i click on test then i actually get to see the key for the test the token which is used for the test uh, then the other part is groups so if you want to create groups of users uh, that means partners then they can sit inside one group a good example will be for a BFSI is that let's say trading partners. So you can have all the trading partners or money changers actually put as one group and you can have them. So over here you can see the list of groups. You can uh, make them active or suspended based on your choice. And then going towards resources. Uh, now resources, uh, we have multiple choices over there. Uh, so you can have uh, SOAP based or WSDL based. Then you can have VADL or HTTP based and you can also have ISO based. Uh, we also have in the new version which is database uh, is also coming up uh, and that is also uh, you know can be one of the options which we can use so now over here you would see is that we have original methods that are coming in from the behind and then we also have the enriched methods enriched methods as i explained to you uh, they are the ones which you can add in service card and they will be exposed to the outside or the third party and uh, the logic management will happen in service card for that uh, so over here uh, let's say if i want to see uh, what all APIs are there uh, I can just come over here and click uh, new API okay so let's say you want to add a new API uh, there is nothing is there on right okay okay so let me just do one thing instead of creating a new one okay, uh, I'll explain you what is this uh, so let's say if I want to say add, add payment yeah so I'm coming over here and then I can actually say what ISO message I want to create, which version I want, uh, then what uh, form it will be. So it can actually create that. So and then you can create. So it's basically making the empty header, uh, MTI header, and then you can add additional parameters as per your choice. So the all the additional parameters which are called the DEs in the ISO message all are written over here, and then you can create, you know, as many as this thing. So again, I'm not going to submit this. But what I'm trying to share with you is that it is uh, one of the ways you can actually quickly create your new API, which will be handled by service card. So what I'll do is that I'll go back and uh, I will look into the list of uh, uh, the existing APIs, uh, which are there in the edit. Yeah. So in the edit, I already have certain uh, pre-existing APIs that we have created. And over here, as you can see, that these are the certain APIs that are already being listed over here. So these are the APIs which are uh, talking with the internal resource, and uh, they will be exchanging messages in ISO. Uh, now, something very similar is also available for uh, the WSDL, where 
you can have uh, you know so let's say if in this case uh, I want to look at uh, you know uh, okay so it's already being added so because in Vistal it will already be there now let's quickly go to the access point access point is essentially the transformed enriched secured uh, uh, you know uh, Vistal or Vadal exposed outside so th this is what uh, the partner or the user will get to see so again you have two options whether you want to have test or production and uh, you also have the uh, logic of versioning meaning that you can actually create multiple versions of each uh, access point uh, and expose different types of APIs under that each version so this also gives you flexibility of adding new APIs to the same existing partner or vendor uh, without uh, changing what is existingly running so that gives you amazing flexibility in terms of version controlling what you wish to have then in reports we also give you the detailed reports so again I think let me go into this uh, you know into the uh, edit transform uh, for the core ISO uh, which is where I will see the list of uh, APIs that I want to expose to my outside party yeah so over here as you see that I have the list of APIs that were there in ISO and now I want to only expose two of the APIs to the outside world one more interesting feature which uh, service guard offers is that you can add description so uh, in the description you can uh, list down uh, the error the input the output all these kind of information and whatever is being shown here so whatever you know uh, this is the uh, you know api documentation uh, which can be exposed and this will be shown to the partner when they log in into the partner portal so this is uh, a very crucial and important feature because it helps you eliminate any kind of human interaction between your partners as well as your core APIs that you have exposed and the key or advantage is also that with each API if you are modifying any you know uh, business logic or if you are modifying any error then you can also manage it differently so that gives you amazing flexibility in that context now uh, we already have again there is a feature like you know uh, monitoring that is coming in what I want to show you is the access policy uh, with the security part uh, sorry let me just uh, you know so just to show you on the uh, monitoring yeah so these are the three you know monitorings that are happening we essentially are monitoring the resource as well as the partner right so meaning that uh, uh, whosoever is your partner because if their server is down that means you are suffering with business continuity you are suffering with the loss of revenue so we monitor the partner we can do a ping test or we can do a website test or if you have an internal uh, resource which is a visual or ISO uh, you want to monitor them for simple reason is that if there is a down uh, you know uh, resource then uh, uh, service guard will not be able to you know uh, communicate back so in these two scenarios we actually send the information back to the administrator uh, with an email or SMS alert uh, informing them that uh, you know uh, uh, you know or both that means email as well as SMS uh, to inform them if any any uh, you know any partner or as well as any uh, internal resources down there are a few other reports over here we will not get into the details uh, but what I would like to show you is the uh, access policies oh, sorry access point and inside access point uh, the uh, what we call it as uh, the policy that means the security policy that needs to be enforced okay so as you can see there are two tabs one is test as well as one is production uh, so as soon as I enable uh, I get to choose what time I want to set what day I want to set so let's say if you only want to give it from Monday to Friday uh, you know in the business office hours and if you want to restrict any volume so let's say if you only want to say you know 10,000 in a day uh, then also throughput throughput is crucial because if you have too many partners coming in then uh, you want to limit their uh, you know the the quality of service for each partner the bandwidth for each partner uh, so you don't need to actually put a you know application firewall or, or a network bandwidth monitoring if you have service guard in place it's actually doing the job of these uh, you know other network devices also uh, so in this case we are taking token security uh, so you can also say okay I want to build them in uh, you know certain currency and uh, let's say 10 cents per uh, you know request and then we also want to enable or disable debugging so I save it now this is uh, what will get reflected over there again uh, yeah uh, so what we'll do is that okay 
and uh, I'm going to straight away go to the exposed APIs, uh, otherwise the demo will be too long. Uh, so this is the exposed API. So this was the original, and then we also have the exposed SOAP or Vettel. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So uh, that's the part one of the demo. Uh, and now uh, in the next uh, part, we are going to actually do the de uh, the actual running of the uh, the demonstration. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much.